Hello everyone. Welcome to the Advent season for 2020. Today is the first Sunday of Advent and I wanted to remind everybody that this is our season of comfort and joy. During this season we ponder God's gifts of hope, peace, joy, and love. There has been an Advent devotional created for everyone to use this year as a spiritual tool to help us do that pondering. It's been sent to you in the email and you can download it and have it on your devices. But also there will be a smattering of videos throughout the season where folks will read their devotions for you and you can just listen and receive if you want. We're going to put those on Facebook. So I want to start today by reading the one that I wrote for the first Sunday of Advent. And I hope that you will find this spiritual tool help you find comfort and joy this season. For the first Sunday of Advent, our scripture reading is Mark 13, 24 through 37. And I specifically wrote my reflection on Mark 13, 35 through 37, which says this. Therefore, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cock crow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. This is the reflection I, I wrote for the day. There was a tradition in the church in which I was raised where the baby Jesus was not placed in the manger in the nativity scene until the Christmas Eve worship service. It was a tradition that was supposed to teach us about Advent, that we are in the process of awaiting the arrival of Jesus throughout the days prior to Christmas Day. Although I didn't quite understand this tradition when I was little, I remember that each time I saw the nativity scene, I would look to see if Jesus had arrived yet. And when I was in worship, I was always watching to see if that was the day when Jesus would walk in and climb into the manger, magically becoming the baby in the scene once again. My young mind couldn't reconcile the grown Jesus we heard about in church each Sunday and the baby Jesus we were waiting on. But I did understand there was an excitement around the anticipation of seeing the manger filled by the statue of the baby. I still feel that anticipation in my older years, awaiting the Christ child, who is the Prince of Peace each Advent season. However, our scripture lesson for this first Sunday of Advent asks us, to go deeper, to be watchful and anticipate that Jesus can arrive in our lives at any moment, on any day. This scripture asks us to ponder the tough question, how often have I missed the presence of Jesus in my life because I wasn't paying attention? As we begin this Advent season together after such a difficult year of strife, economic hardship, racial injustice, pandemic, and emotional upheaval. I think it behooves us to be that much more diligent in watching for the ways Jesus arrives in our lives to teach us about hope, peace, joy, and love. Perhaps our scripture from the Gospel of Mark today is our wake-up call that will help us to truly embody the presence of Christ this season as we sing, Joy to the world, the Lord is come. This is the prayer I wrote for the day. Holy One, help us to be awake to your presence in our lives. Help us to reflect your presence in our lives to all whom we meet in this holy season. Amen. <laughs> 